time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live on a Friday, October 20th. Hope all is well. I uh, in zero DTE land today. I got smoked out of a duck and I got smoked out of some JSPs. And that's all I did today in the uh, zero DTE world. For Power Hour, looks like we may get a 15 wide, maybe 10. We'll see where it settles out here in a few minutes. Saw a couple people took some other trades, a quiet lunch. Vegas Michelle hitting a quiet lunch. S&P down 40. NASDAQ down 185. Russell down 14. And Dow down 204. And the VIX is down. How about that? The VIX and the SPX are playing a little opposite opposite week with us. Markets down, VIX down. Markets up, uh, volatility up. So playing a little, uh, playing some games with us here the last, well, really since Friday. But it's okay. We uh, We adapt. We're traders. We adapt. Yeah, so Anil, on uh, my PC, like I'm on right now, the the share uh, order template option does not appear when I try to share it, but when I do it on my Mac, it does. So I'm not sure what the deal is on that. So for example, if I go to, actually, let me buy some longs here first. Or I forget. So if I set, set up my order template for tranche one, for example, let's say we're going to be 15 wide. Normally, I would go to this little three-bar menu here, click on it, and there would be an option to share order template, but you can see it does not exist. When I do the same thing on my Mac, there's an option that says short share order template. Oh, looks like I'm getting filled on another time fly exit, my friends. So let me post that before I jump into tranche one. Same day exit, 6% on that one. Just posted that. Yeah, so like in the course, when I shared all those order templates, I must have been doing that when I was, when I was still on my Mac. And then I went to... Uh, I'd created some new ones. I was going to share them and Landon was doing the same thing on his PC and, and he couldn't figure it out. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a Mac. It's a Mac thing available on Mac, not on PC for some reason. All right. looks like we're going to be 10 wide. Tranche one, 10 wide. 
trying to get 850. Filled at 850. Oh, Wuga took my 860s. Always one up in me, Wuga. Always one up in me. All right, so 10 wide for tranche one. Something I've got kind of in my thought process for starting next month for power hour is I might, uh, I think I'm going to vary my position size based on the width that we get for tranche one. So 10 or above, I'll have one position size that's higher. A five wide, I would do a little bit less position size, a straddle, I would do less. And then if we're inverted and I'm doing a straddle, I would have another position size. So haven't, haven't thought through that all the way, but that's just FYI, something I'm kind of considering starting next month. Okay. Good to know, Wuga. We have no time flies on, man. Those things have been popping off this week after making us hold out most of last week. Yeah, Mauro, you're, uh, you posted, I think, last week a little screenshot of kind of the uh, breakdown of the different widths. That's what kind of got me rethinking about it. Yeah, I I was I still may do another time fly. I've got it on a, on a note here right in front of me. I think it makes sense to jump into another one here. In fact, since we've got so much time between tranche one and tranche two, let's go ahead and look at that. Probably go back to the Nov Nov ten cycle. So for you following along at home on the uh, time fly, I'm trying to get filled on this one. I'll, I'll adjust it to get filled here. Most likely won't get filled at that price.
Starting to get filled at 345. Got a partial. Got filled on four out of 25. I'll let it sit there for a bit. Uh, Kelvin, my wing wits, are you talking about for the time fly? <clears throat> um, I usually, I usually start around 50 and then if it's, uh, if it's higher volatility, I'd, I'll go wider, lower volatility, I'll go narrower. I'm just trying to, you know, I kind of look at, okay, so here's price currently at about 4240, the expected move between, um, you know, over the next few periods. So like expected move until Monday is 44 expected move till uh, Tuesday is 60. And so I'll just kind of get an idea of, okay, if, if we move 40 points to the upside, I'll have to adjust. So I'm just kind of gauging that based on the expected move. You know, sometimes I'll skew it a little bit one way or another. If I want to give myself more room to the upside, more room to the downside. So it's just, it's just a little bit of tinkering and, playing with it but as far as the width goes um yeah i usually start at 50 and then kind of adjust it from there as far as power hour goes i'm on the 42 45 42 35 Alpha options. What's up, Mike? Uh, you probably already covered. Considering you have power hour success seemingly every day of the week, have you tested a strategy for ending near the end of day, end of one DTE and held to the following power hour? Um, I've tested a lot of one DTE stuff in general on Option Omega. Um, by the way, we do not, we don't, we don't win every day at power hour. <laughs> I wish we did, but. It's normally I, over a large number of occurrences. I would say we win about 60 to 65% of the time. Um, so yeah, I've, I've tested a lot of one DTE stuff. I did. I haven't found anything that I'm super comfortable with for one, you know, of course, then you're holding overnight. So you've got that risk on a pretty, you know, usually a pretty narrow type spread. So you don't have the uh, ability to to bail overnight, obviously. So for a similar type strategy, yeah, I'm not I'm not too big on one DTE holding overnight, but there's a lot of a lot of folks who do it. Waterman was at. Was that comment to me? Every time this discussion came up, I denied the merits of it. I'm not sure what you're referencing there. Oh, yeah. I put, uh, Morrow, I posted the uh, strikes of the time fly above. The uh, 4270, 4220, 4165. Are oh, you talking about the width? Versus premium. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've thought about it before. I certainly didn't. I, I certainly never dismissed it. I hadn't done anything about it, but that doesn't mean I dismissed it.
Yep, 10 minutes. I'll be doing a a, a five seven. Right before I get into tranche two. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, if you look at when I first started like trading power hour the way I do now, which the first full month was April. You know, I was trading it before, but not not to the same kind of discipline following exact step by, you know, exact steps on a monthly basis. You know, April, obviously we had some higher applied volatility. Performance was fantastic. We had periods like July and August where implied volatility was super low. Results were just kind of meh, right? So now we're back up to higher implied volatility and October has been a massive month for power hour. So there's, there's obviously, you know, I mean, there's, there's just a lot to that, how much, it, how much better it works when, when you get wider, right? So. More and of course, the more data, the more we trade this, the more everyday options have been along. We'll find we'll find more stuff too. So as far as the calendars I'm putting on today for next week, so mo there's nothing Monday. Is Powell speaking Wednesday? I don't. It's not shown on this calendar. Yeah. So I'm doing a, a three six because the three the shorts would be nothing. The six has some unemployment stuff that day. For my longs and then i'm doing a five seven because there's nothing wednesday on the shorts and then there's some core pce stuff on the sevens on the longs Yeah, and uh, mark your calendars. I'll be posting more about it, but our resident accountant, Wuga, will be presenting his trade plan next Thursday, the 26th, 30 minutes after the bell. Can't wait for that. So let's see, tranche one, I got in at 850. So 510, I'll be reducing my stop. That's currently trading at 675. Wuga, you've never taken a tax class and you're an accountant? My reminder, the 5-7. All right, now I'm getting filled on some more time flies. There we go. All right, now I can post it. Filled at 345. Just posted that in the butterfly channel. I 
five, seven. Oh, why is this happening? Something I'm not understanding on Tradehawk. Sometimes my orders get rejected. Hmm. All right, I'm going to have to come back to that five seven. We got tranche two coming up. Buying some longs for tranche two. Looks like we'll have a 10 wide. 40s and 30s. Give it another minute. <clears throat> SPX coming down. A few points above lows of day. Looks like we could be 15 wide. Forties and twenty fives. Forties and twenty fives, fifteen wide. We get filled at four ninety five. Filled at four ninety five for tranche two. All right, I gotta go back to my other monitor here and figure out why I'm not getting filled. Hmm, there we go. I just posted my five seven in the calendar channel. Uh, let's see. Looks like um, there's been a bunch of posts here in the chat. So if I, I'm not trying to ignore anyone, so if I if I missed a question that you're still looking for, feel free to repeat your question here in the chat.
How about this? S&P down 42, VIX down 2%. Who would have thunk? I guess it got so over pumped that it just had to give it a little back. I do not see a Powell speech on um, on my calendar, no, for Wednesday. Wednesday the 25th, I see new home sales and crude oil inventories. You got a, if you got a different calendar that's got something, feel free to post it. Hmm. Well, that's after the market closes anyway. So, or I don't know, actually, I don't know what time frame you're on. Well, let me refresh mine. Oh, there he is. But it's after the market closes. So that's good. So. As far as the calendars go, though, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it may. Well, no, having the shorts there is not going to matter because they're going to expire before he speaks. So, yeah, I'm still good with the 5.7. I'm going to do a 3.6. I'll do that here in about 15 minutes. Tranche 1 is down to 5.60. I'm looking for 5.10. Tranche two, I got in at 495. So I'm looking for three bucks to reduce tranche two. Yeah, I must, I have my, I have that calendar open since this morning. So, and Neil mentioned they just added it two hours. So as soon as I refreshed, it showed up. Getting a little bounce here. Tranche one down to five in the five thirties. I'm looking for five ten. Another few years of growing capital and quitting is accounting. And then Lauren's going to come on board with navigation trading, I heard. Tranche one down to 545. He hasn't confirmed that yet, but I'm just saying that's going to try to make that happen. I don't, Lauren, are you even on the live stream? He might be just chatting. Uh, 
Now a little bounce. Now we're falling again. If one trading around six. I did. I got smoked on my ducks and my JSPs, both of them. minutes until tranche three buy some more longs Three looks like we might be twenty wide, maybe twenty five even. Yeah, twenty. No, can't count fifteen. Forties and twenty fives. Give it another minute. No, the ducks are not doing so good. I gotta, I gotta decide if I'm gonna kill that duck or not. I know one thing I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm, I've got a, you know, if a duck gets stopped out, so is your JSPs, right? And they got the same, similar criteria. So when both of those get smoked, it's a little bit more painful than I prefer. It looks like the forty twenty fives. Tranche three fifteen wide. Three eighty. Build at 380, 40.25s. Tranche two is trading down to 385. I'm looking for three bucks. SPX moving lower.
SPX put in a new low of day. I get filled on a three six. Posted my three six in the calendar channel. All right, so tranche one at six bucks. I need five ten. Tranche two's getting close to three bucks for stop reduction. It's a nice little bounce off the bottom. Who's going to get their stop reduced first? Tranche one or two? Need to go above 35 for tranche one. Oh, tranche one's there. Oops, wrong one. Change that to 810. Reducing my stop on tranche one. Tranche two, I'm looking for three bucks. It's at 315. Three ten. Three oh five. Three bucks. All right, reducing my stop on tranche two. All right, good. Good, good, good. Uh, 
early indication for market on close and balance 945 million sell side. Yep, just reduced one and two. Tranche one is down to 460. Tranche two is down to 320. Tranche three is down to 320. Oh, tranche, yeah, tranche two and three are the same. 4240s and 4225s. So anywhere between 35 and 40 would be just fine. Since we got the twenty five, since we got the uh, twenty fives, yeah, yeah, I'll take forty two thirty seven. What else did I do today? I entered a new uh, put calendar in SPX, 710 DTE. We'll turn that into a double if needed or take profits at 10 to 20%. Added a new duck in rut. Our duck and SPX has taken some heat. Our VIX spread, I took off four of 10. If uh, vol was if volatility was going to get more pumped today, I was going to shed some more of that VIX hedge and add some VXX verticals the other way. But I'm going to wait till next week. Still not much juice coming out of oil. Rolled down some calls in MES, rolled down some calls in QQQ. What about the VXX?
Yeah, I mean, you'd figure if we were down 44 points that the uh, volatility would be up, but it's not. Five seven I put on is already up a couple hundred. Twenty one and a half minutes until the bell. So I got in tranche one at eight fifty. My stop is at eight ten. Tranche two I got in at four ninety five. My stop's at five bucks. Price is currently hanging in our sweet spot. Don't really need a new low of day. I just don't think we need that. Just don't think it's necessary. Stop on tranche ones at eight ten. Spreads currently trading at six seventy five. Now it's above seven. If we hit a new low of day. I'll probably get stopped on tranche one. And there's a new low of day, and I'm getting close to my stop. Let's get back up there, and I'm going to get stopped here. Stopped with uh, some slippage. So stopped at 875 and 885. So I got into 850, so lost about 30-ish 30, 30 cents on that one.
Tranche two and three are trading at 265. Stops at uh, five bucks and 680. Yeah, my stop on tranche three is 680. And tranche two, it's five. Spread's currently trading at 270. Yeah, you know, Ken, I'm going to... um. I'm with you. I was thinking about that earlier. I'm going to go ahead and get out of that duck. I mean, it's, you know, down about 660. My exit point's about seven, 715. So I'm not really interested in a big gap down over the weekend to smoke that thing. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and close that one. I'll re-enter next week if we get some more downside. Got it at thirteen ninety on that one. VIX is almost to unchanged now that the S and P's are down over fifty. All right, tranche two and three. We need to hold our heads above 42.25. Market on close, early indication at 1.4 billion sell side. Hey, Matt, from Option Omega, are you on the stream? Yeah, we just need a just need a hold here above the forty two twenty five. Trying to 
runs two and three trading at 270. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm watching this market on close thing. It, it, you know, it, I don't think there's really much to gather from it. I mean, what I'm noticing is if it, if the final number at 10 minutes to the bell is a big change, then we see some market gyration. But as far as direction goes, I mean, if it's on the sell side, sometimes it goes up. If it's on the buy side, sometimes it goes down. So I don't know what to make of it. If there's any, really anything to, if there's really any benefit to, to watching it, but I'll continue to watch it a little bit. That's right. Ease on back up to All right, 10 minutes till the bell. Getting a little down movement right at that point. We'll see what the uh, market on close comes out at. Definitely kind of was bouncing, kind of reversed. 2.1 billion sell side. So yeah, it jumped up. So we saw a little bit of down movement, but. New lows of day. Need to stay above forty two twenty five. Tranche two stops at five bucks. Spreads currently trading at two forty. Still going down. Get back up there. Just get back up there. Oh, that's no fun, Bianca. 
that's really disappointing how buggy tasty is. Just not. I was uh, I had I had high hopes for tasty. All right, bounced off the lows of 42.24.52, back up to 27s. Yeah, there's there's definitely buggy things with every broker. Is technology. Well, if we're hanging out right here, I'm going to close here in a couple minutes. If we bounce here in the next couple minutes, I will be taking closer to the bell. Down below 25. All right, trunch two, I'm going to get out of ugh, pushing. Pushing lower. No, wrong way. All right, out of trunch two at 225. Ooh, getting a nice bounce now. Trunch three, trying to get out of the buck 20. Trunch three filled at a buck 20. So let's see. So tranche one was a small loser. 30 cents, so that's minus 300. Tranche two got in at 495. Out at 225. Two seventy. The tranche two, I made four thousand three twenty. Tranche three, I got in at three eighty. Out at one twenty. So two sixty. Fourteen equals three thousand six forty. So seven, eight, a uh, little, little under eight grand. So not too shabby. I'll take it. I'll take it to end the week. All right, my friends. 
there she blows. Another power hour win. Next week. Oh, hey, Marl. I see you on video. How are you? <laughs> Um, next week, let's see, next week is the, what is today? 20th. All right. So next week, Monday and Tuesday, Chad will be streaming at the open. Wednesday, Thursday, I will be streaming for zero DTE. Friday, Chad will be streaming at the open. And then we'll be streaming every day for power hour. All right, everyone, take care. Have a good weekend. Chat with you soon.